Hey, it's me, Simon. What are you guys doing way up there? That's a little better. Uh, let's get some color in here. Pa. Pow. All right, so I'm talking into the Rode VideoMic NTG right now, and I'm actually recording it with the DD HDTX, a new little piece of equipment. It's a wireless transmitter that you can com you can plug a TRS like the Rode VideoMic NTG or the DD VMic D3 Pro or pretty much any of those type of microphones. You can also plug in an XLR microphone and uh, you can either record on the device or you can transmit it to a wireless recorder. Really nifty little piece of equipment, but we're not here to talk about that today. I'll talk about that in the future. I'm gonna talk about the Rode VideoMic NTG. So I talked about the Rode VideoMic NTG when it first came out. I think it was the first video on the internet about it. And a lot of people in the comments mentioned that there was some hissing coming out of the microphone originally. And I tend to agree it did seem a little bit noisy, but it probably doesn't sound very noisy now. After I released that video, uh, Rhodes audio engineers messaged me and they said, hey, it sounds pretty noisy. What was going on with that setup? What camera were you using? And so I gave them information about what camera I was using. I was using the GH5, obviously, and some other details about my setup. And they got to work. And then they released a firmware update, which you can easily install over USB-C, which here's how you do it. You just go to Rhodes' website and under their uh, video mic NTG support section, there's a firmware updater. Download that, just open it up. There we are. Next, video mic NTG. And then right here, next, here, just connect the Rode video mic NTG. So just plug it in with the USB C straight to your computer. There we are. Next, my firmware's up to date. But if your firmware wasn't up to date, which what I did before I started this video, uh, do that now. Basically, they just uploaded some new firmware. They reduced all the internal noise to the microphone over firmware. So I think that's really awesome. Uh, so if you do have the Rode VideoMic NTG, grab yourself the firmware update and install it because then the VideoMic NTG sounds way better. Now I have, I have this uh, setup in my hand here like this because I wanted to talk into the microphone and record the microphone with the VideoMic NTG. I also wanted to record it with my regular studio audio setup that I use, which is the MKH416 and the Mix Pre 3, which is here's you're listening to the so now you're listening to the Sennheiser MKH416 and the Mix Pre 3 again, and then back to the Rode VideoMic NTG. I wanted to do that side by side again so you could get a new sample of what it's like on the updated firmware of the VideoMic NTG. I think this firmware is from around December 17th. I just haven't actually gotten around to making an update video. So there's that. I think it sounds a lot better now and I'm a lot more comfortable using it. I mean, it already sounded great and I've been using it for a lot of my videos already, but now it sounds even better. So if you have it, just make sure you update the firmware. All right, so I realized not everybody is gonna have thousands of dollars of audio equipment to record this with. So I also wanna test a bunch of different cameras and see what it sounds like coming directly out of them. This is the Nikon Z6, which in my opinion has some pretty bad preamps. I've got the volume on the Z6 set to seven and I have the gain knob on the video mic NTG also set to seven. Now we're back on the GH5. We've got the camera set to negative 12 decibels and we've got the microphone set to still seven on the gain control. And if you saw this and you're wondering what this is, it just came in the mail today. It's Lupo's new action panel. Very cool little piece of equipment. We're gonna talk about that in a future video, so make sure you're subscribed. All right, now we're on the Fuji X-T3, and I've got the gain set to seven still on the Rode VideoMic NTG, and I have the X-T3 set to negative 27 decibels for external microphones on the camera. All right, that's enough cameras. Let's get back to the regular setup. All right, so that's the Rode VideoMic NTG updated, and it sounds way better. I'm really impressed with what they're doing with microphone tech these days. A little vlogger mic is having the same, well, nearly the same performance as my $1,000 microphone setups. But anyways, since we're on microphone news and I've been talking about a whole bunch of different brands of stuff and this video isn't like sponsored or anything, I'm just gonna talk about all the cool stuff. So this is what I've got in my hand now with the Lollipop setup, the DD HDTX thing. I'm talking into the Cinco mic yeah, this is the Cinco Mic D2. They sent this out to me a little while ago, and I guess uh, from what I've seen on the internet, it's supposed to have almost identical 
audio properties and you know sonic qualities to what you get out of the Sennheiser MKH-416. I don't know how accurate that is. I haven't had a chance to play with it too much, but from what I've seen, it sounds uh, startlingly similar for about one third the price of the MKH-416. So if we go up here, not, now I know the MKH-416 is hooked into my Mix Pre 3 and this is hooked up to DD's new HDTX. So the preamps are different, the audio qualities are different. It's not a perfect side-by-side -side comparison, just like how I did earlier with the VideoMic NTG. But right now I'm talking into my regular audio setup using the Sennheiser MKH-416 and the Mix Pre 3 version one. And now we're back over to the SyncoMic D2 with Deity's HDTX recording internally. So how do those uh, how do those compare side by side? I don't know. Uh, you know what? Let's check it out. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to listen to it, edit it, and come back. Okie dokie. All right. So to me, that last test was pretty painfully obvious which one sounded better. I guess I should do it first without and then with. So this is without the windscreens. We're talking into the Sennheiser MKH-416 into the DD HDTX. Now we're talking into the Synco mic without the windscreen into the Mix Pre 3. Now we're talking into the Sennheiser MKH-416 with the windscreen into the DD HDTX. And now we're talking into the Synco mic D2 into the Mix Pre 3. All right, so that should be a fairly even comparison because the last test I ran, it was pretty obvious to me which one I liked the way it sounded better. That was Sennheiser into the Mix Pre 3. Now I'm wondering if that is just because of the way that I had it set up for that particular session, or if it was because the microphone was way better, or if it was because the preamps in the Mix Pre 3 are superior. Now that just leads me to more questions because the sound quality coming off of the Rode VideoMic NTG sounded very, very close to the Sennheiser MKH-416 into the Mix Pre 3. And that Sennheiser Mix Pre 3 setup I have over here also is using a V-mount plate with some Bebop accessories. And that whole setup costs roughly $2,000 if you're gonna set it up from scratch and you don't have anything else. You have to buy the V-mount batteries, you have to buy V-mount battery plate, super clamps, the boom stand, the microphone itself, the Mix Pre 3, um, and I mean, that's a lot of stuff if you're setting up from scratch. But if you wanted to set up similar audio quality from scratch with the Rode VideoMic NTG and the HDTX here, you just buy the DD HDTX and the Rode VideoMic and then figure out a way to attach them to each other. And that's it's gonna be like five or 600 bucks. So you're getting some really good audio quality out of that setup. But anyways, now I have to go listen to these two microphones together and see if the audio quality has been improved. All right, I've got one more idea. All right, all right. So, uh, what do you think the odds are that none, neither of these companies ever sends me anything again? <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk about that. Uh, the test I just did. The Sennheiser MKH416 is clearly better than the Synco mic. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. The Synco mic is a great value. It's a good microphone. It sounds good. It's much less expensive. But if I had to sink money into a single microphone system and I only had about 300 bucks, it'd probably be the Rode VideoMic NTG. It just sounds so much closer to the MKH-416. But you guys, come on, the HDTX, this thing is awesome. Like it, I mean, there's no discernible, you can't hear a difference between the audio recorded on the Mix Pre 3 versus the HDTX. This is a lot cheaper and it's a wireless transmitter. So you can, I mean, this will actually transmit audio of anything plugged into it to Deity's wireless connect kit. I do intend on reviewing that soon. Um, there's already a couple reviews popping up about it, but I mean, that thing's a value right there. But anyways, that's enough for today. I need to review some more lights. This thing is dope. I really, I'm really liking what I'm seeing coming from Lupo lately. They're stepping it up. If you've been following my Instagram at TG Calloway, you've already seen it a little bit. I'm really excited about it. Um, if you, if you like all this tech stuff that I've been talking about, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.